Hey everyone, Rig Ninja Productions back. Now you might remember this Master Chief figure, and remember I deleted the original review for this guy because, well, his ball and socket joints broke, and I explained it in my Marvel Legends Infinite series, Marvel Now Captain America review. Check that out if you haven't. And I'm happy to tell you that I finally got them fixed. I got the new ball socket joints. Well, from another figure, actually. And it is the CIO Spart Spartan. As you can see, I give him his ball socket joints back. And he can finally pose again. So, anyway. Let's get started. I'm just going to take his gun out for now. <clears throat> really cool figure. I do like it. There are problems, like, again, I don't like these type of joints that they have. These ball and socket joints. And I'm not going to try to give him new ones because I tried to do that on my Connor Kenway. I did have a Connor Kenway McFarlane figure and I ended up ruining him. Tried to fix him up, didn't work, threw him away. So yeah. Hold on. <coughs> okay, there we go. But yeah, I do like this figure. Now... A lot of people will say that they don't really like, they mostly like the Halo 3 look of Master Chief more. Some people might not like this new look for Master Chief. I like both looks a lot. And to be honest, I actually like this look of Master Chief better. If you if you disagree with me, then you can disagree with me. You don't you don't have to like it. It's just my opinion. But yeah, I have I have the game, but for 360 they didn't they did not make it for PS3 which sucks I wish they did but anyway one thing though is more silver paint on this on this right shoulder pad mostly on the back not really much on the front this shoulder pads fine maybe it's like they kind of screwed up and put silver paint a lot of silver paint there but it doesn't bother me that much I mean it will not ruin my likeness for the figure <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just trying to clear up my throat and it's not really working out well. Anyway, articulation. His head can move side to side. Move up and down. It doesn't fully rotate. I mean, it can, but because of these back pieces, it kind of block, blocks his head movement. Well, not a lot. I mean, you can still have him look anywhere. You gotta do. <clears throat> Never mind. His arms can fully rotate. They can move in and out. Bend at the elbow. Rotate at the elbow. His forearm can rotate, which is weird. His wrist can move in and out. Rotate here. And rotate here so you can move the hand like this if you want, but. Eh. It really reminds me of a rebel type joint. Anyway, with the arms aside, his torso, upper torso can rotate, move up and down, side to side. His legs can move in and out, forward and back. One thing though, I have a problem. The legs pop off easily. I mean, they will stay on, but they're really easy to pull off if you move them too much. So I recommend you push on it so you could pose the legs however you want. Again, I hate these joints. I, I love the figure, just these hip joints frustrate me. But anyway, <clears throat> legs can move, his knees can bend and rotate. Well, the joint on his left knee actually broke and it was it got loose so I had to use blue tape 
and a little clear orange peg that's that is thick it's a thick clear peg don't worry yeah, I can still bend it and it will stay staying into place anyway his feet can move up and down rotate this joint and rotate the upper joint his toes can rotate move up and down and side to side <clears throat> So a really cool figure. I do like him a lot. Accessories, he comes with his railgun, which I did use in the game, and it's not as good as I thought it would be. But yeah, there is a peg for you where you can peg it on his back, and it can come out. But one thing though, you can't just pull it out or try to twist it out. It will snap. So what I do to make it easier. Here we go. <clears throat> I'll take a little point thing like this toothpick here. You see right there. I use it. I push from the side. So I can push it out like that. And the peg comes out. It's not broken. And you can attach it to the hole on his back, like so. So yeah, you can take it off, but it's not easy. Again, like I said, you can't just force it out. You can't just pull on it or twist it out. It will break. But yeah, here's his railgun. He can hold it. It's not really an easy fit since the grip on his hands are a bit big and I'm already having trouble with this. You can't have him do it double handed, hold it double handedly. Actually, you can hold, have him hold it with two hands if you want. Damn it. And the other accessory is this little Cortana figurine. Now, she is a soft rubbery, rubbery plastic. I mean, she, this thing can come off if you want. She is very soft. But the paint job is not bad. I mean, however, you can't really see her face. But for something this small, it will be impossible. But the paint job is nice. You see this little base she can pick in. And Master Chief can hold her either like this, or what I found out is that in this place, you see this little. Oh, sorry. This thing right here, you can actually push it out like so. Then you plug it on Cortana, plug it back on, ah, dropped her. See, so yeah. <clears throat> I'll just show you right now. Hold on a minute. I'm sorry if this is going to be a long video, but just bear with me. But he can. Uh, hold on a minute. Damn it. You 
you can have them hold Cortana. Either like this. Drop. It sounds like I drop them, but like this. Or like this. However, she will pop out. And all right, hold on. I'm sorry for taking the figure off the camera again. I mean, I'm sorry for taking the figure off the screen. Just trying to have a pose holding Cortana is not easy. There we go. See, he can hold Cortana like that. But yeah, very nice figure. Recommend you get him. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed his review, and I'll see you next time.